Well, this crisis has another enormous side effect here in Seattle and also worldwide. Because so few of us are driving or flying, carbon emissions and air pollution has dropped dramatically. Kara 7's Gary Horker has a look at what this global change in our air could mean for climate change. Well, there's nobody on I-90 tonight, and you might think that's a great thing for global warming, greenhouse gases, and pollution. And it is, but scientists argue this is a long way from solving long-term climate change. And a UW researcher says this pandemic is teaching us some long lessons that we might apply to our impacts on climate change down the road. No one could have predicted a month ago that the constant flood of choking Seattle area congestion on every road and freeway for miles would just stop. People pressing for change in our fossil fuel habits were not hoping for this. We're seeing reduced emissions for really horrible reasons. Amy Snover is the director of UW's Climate Impacts Group, and while she points out that the China quarantine caused a massive drop in CO2 and nitrogen dioxide levels that you can actually see from space. I expect to see emissions go right back up again. She says every time there's been a global financial crisis, climate changing emissions have quickly risen again. But she says so many fewer people are doing this. It could create a long-term air clearing beneficial trend. It may well. I mean, whoever thought that a TV news reporter could do his job without leaving his house. And she says this pandemic could teach us a global scientific lesson. That actions that I take today will affect the impacts on you tomorrow. And then actions that people take in other parts of the world will influence us. She says we're all getting used to seeing scientific forecasting when it comes to coronavirus, and many more people might react to scientific climate change forecasting, which threatens lives long term. Our choices right now and every day, as they always are, are really important in determining that future. Well, there is a positive fallout from all this cleaner air we're experiencing. The World Health Organization says 4.2 million people every year die from the harmful effects of dirty air. And they say the cleaner air in China alone may extend the lives of tens of thousands of people down the road. Reporting meanwhile from Bellevue, I'm Gary Horker, Kyra 7 News.